Morning my gorgeous people of the internet world and welcome to another day in my life. The sun is gleaming today and I haven't washed my face yet. I haven't washed my face, I haven't even brushed my hair. Why am I coming on camera? Who actually knows? But um, I'm just made a cup of tea and I'm just about to get ready to go down to the office and I just thought, do you know what, I'm gonna vlog today. Um, I'm gonna try my best to actually complete a full day in the life vlog. Um, so yeah, basically it is really nice out there today. Let me show you. Please do excuse our disgustingly dirty kitchen windows but it looks like it's gonna be lovely today. I'm not even sure really why I'm coming on camera while my hair's not even brushed, but when I brush it at the moment, it kind of like brushes out all the messiness from the night before, but it looks really thin in the morning when I haven't like given it a bit of a resume and a bit of a straight, and I got two new jackets as well that came in the post yesterday. They were really nice jackets, I'll show you them in a minute. Um, I got them off eBay, I'm loving a bit of eBay at the moment. I just think it's just really, I don't know, just really like it. Um, Morning has opened. The, the blinds are open. Um, but yeah, I want to get ready because get, it's like quarter to ten. And we're going down to the office for half past ten this morning. I made a cup of tea. I'm going to go do my makeup and hair and get ready for the day. It's very frosty out there today. And I think we'll be selling some ice creams if our ice cream mix arrives. We've had a flipping nightmare with our ice cream mix for our machine. Basically, never buy anything that is from Menzies because Menzies, if anyone has had problems with them in the past, they've said for five days in a row now, sorry, you weren't in, so we can't deliver your ice cream mix. I'm like, for goodness sake, I left in my notes the safe place to leave my ice cream mix, so why are you not doing it? So anyway, I'm gonna have to, once I've got the ice cream mix machine sorted this morning, because you've got to clean it out every morning, once I've got the ice cream Mr. Whippy machine sorted and ready to go, I have no mix to go in the machine because I've now run out of my spare mix for the machine, if you know what I mean. So anyway, and then I'm going to go on a Mr. Whippy hunt to find the Menzies man and say to him, Oi, you, I told you where my safe place was and you didn't put it in the safe place. I'm not actually going to say that, I'm going to say, hi there, do you have my um, ice cream mix? Because you know, if you don't give it to me today, then I cannot sell any Mr. Whippies and the sun is out, and it's glorious, and I want to get some bubblegum sauce on it, and some strawberry sauce. Yeah, basically, I just really want to sell ice cream today, because it's really nice out there. Um, but, I need to find an ice cream mix, otherwise, I'll just be selling barista coffee all day. Anyway, I'm going to get ready now, um, wash my face, because I haven't washed my face yet, and have a cup of tea. See you in a minute. OMG, I'm absolutely categorically buzzing. The, just as I was leaving to walk around to mum and dad's to go and, if you haven't been updated guys, I've been feeding my mum and dad's guinea pigs because that's how exciting my life is while they're on holiday. Anyway, I just went going down to mum and dad's to feed the guinea pigs and the Royal Mail pulls up and he's like, hi there, I've got your ice cream mix. And I was like, ah, you what? You've got my ice cream mix? Like, I cannot believe it. I cannot, I can't believe that they've got my ice cream mix because now it's a glorious day in Scotland and I can sell Mr. Weepy ice creams on the pier front and quite honestly, it's made my day. Tried it, Mum and Dad. Kale in hand, going in to feed the glorious guinea pigs. Basically, I actually, I'm not a fan of a guinea pig. I, in fact, anything, I can't stand guinea pigs. I'm not really, oh God, I can never get the fucking key out the door. Before mum and dad left as well to go away, they said to me, dad had to give me a lesson on how to open the front door, because that's how dim I am. I literally am rubbish at keys, and I'm just rubbish in general at keeping get my hair out. Let's go see these guinea pigs. Every morning I welcome them by saying to them, Morning guineas, how are you today? And I've always got the fear before I go into the living room that they're not alive. Now I know that sounds really morbid, but because of my little sister's guinea pigs and my mum's guinea pigs and they literally love them, I go into the living room every morning like that. Morning guineas, please move. So ready, here we go, I'm going into the living room. Morning guineas. Oh, how are you both this morning, my glorious ones moving? Oh, you're both alive, great. <laughs> I also leave a night light on for them overnight because I don't know if guinea pigs can see in the dark but anyway I forgot the kale for them yesterday mum proper guys I've got kale for you today don't you worry um literally I wasn't aware if um guinea pigs basically I've been feeding them kale every single day and I wasn't sure if I've been feeding them too much kale I've been giving them hay I've been giving them a lot of food basically and I'm not sure if I'm overfeeding them or what I'm doing but basically mum said to me yeah just give them as much kale as you want so I've been feeding them like a bag of kale a day and I'm not sure if that's overfeeding them but they're loving me while mum and dad are away so guineas you've only got 
two days left with your hazzy before mum and dad come home. When this video goes up, I'm not telling everyone where mum and dad are. No way. They'll be back when this goes live. <laughs> So anyway, gonna feed the guinea pigs just now, uh, and then we'll get down to the office. And I'm just, you know, that ice cream situation, I was so worried about this ice cream mix not arriving, because I literally would have been so peeped off with the sunshine been out, and not been able to sell Mr Whippy ice creams, but it's all good in the hood. It's arrived, and life is good. Life is good. Okay, guess what the guinea pigs' names are as well? Teddy and Pipping. Pipping! I wonder if they know their own names. I'll show you them in a minute. Their cage is looking a little bit worse for wear, obviously, because I've been looking after them for the week, and I've just been using the... Mum's got a hoover and a scooper for the poos in the cage and stuff, so I've been cleaning it out as I go, but I haven't done, like, a full deep clean like Mum does, because I'm actually scared of touching them. <laughs> so um, I've just been doing cleaning as we go, but on a, in a couple of days, so all will be good with the world. So I'm at the booking office, and I'm quite honestly deciding if a Mr Whippy ice cream for lunch is acceptable, you know, should I spice it up with some like bubblegum sauce, should I spice it up with some caramel sauce, chocolate sauce, sprinkles, I've messaged Lou, Lou's down at the boat just now and I've just messaged Lou and said, Lou, do you fancy ice cream for lunch or should we get like a takeout, I really fancy going to like one of the local, um, to relish for lunch basically, I've not been to relish for lunch for like a month, it's like a, just does a bit of really nice food, just half lobster and chips and I just love a half lobster and chips, but guaranteed the one day we decide to go it won't have it. Um, but yeah, really fancy a lobster and chips. It's quite quiet this morning at the office, but you know, if you work in retail, let me get away from the window of the camera because any customers might think I think I'm a celebrity or something. I don't know. My life jacket's all ready to go for the trip. Um, basically, that's quite awkward. Someone's fine. Yeah, basically, we've not ate out for lunch in. Literally, when I say out for lunch, we've not been to relish for months, but guaranteed when I go, it will have the half lobster and chips that I really fancy. But yeah, message to Lee, so hopefully he'll see it down the boat and he'll come up and we can get some lunch because it's half past one, it's quite quiet in the office. But if you work in retail, that's what I'm going to say, if you work in retail or any service with the public, the minute you say the Q word, it gets busy. So I've just said it's quiet today. It probably finished today with, <laughs> I was so busy and I sold loads of coffees and ice creams, and hopefully that's how I'll end the day because it's my own business now, so I'd hope it would be busy. <laughs> I've decided a minestrone covered soup is the only answer right now. It's got croutons in it, and you see them little circle things, I'm not really sure what they are, but I um, pick them out and eat them. So I'm gonna have that just now while I wait for Lou to see if we can go out for lunch. Woo -hoo! Well, we'll say out for lunch, take out for lunch. Come on, kettle. So guys, we're home from a pretty crazy day. Um, I have to, stop annoying me. Lou, we're having the most randomest concoction of food tonight. Lou is having a meatball, Lou, what are you having? Meatball sandwich. A meatball sandwich. And I am having a glass of pino, no guys, honestly, like don't judge. Like, like I am actually having a glass of pino grigio with cocoa chicken noodles and garlic bread. Like, I don't think, Lou, in our whole relationship, I have ever had garlic bread with cocoa chicken noodles for my dinner with a glass of vino about to watch some kind of like love island um <laughs> why are you laughing why are you laughing so we're about to watch some love island like review program why are you laughing you anyway, know we're gonna watch this program i'm gonna have my garlic chicken cocoa chicken noodles and some garlic bread. I'm really excited for it um, because I've just not had garlic. I used to have cocoa chicken noodles all the time, as you all know. But since like lockdown and actually not working in the co-op, I haven't been like having late shifts, obviously, in the co-op. I used to have my cocoa chicken noodles for lunch. But because I've not been in the co-op, I haven't had um, them for lunch. Have you noticed that, Lou? I've not had cocoa chicken noodles at all. I haven't had them in like about a month now. Well, we've not actually been here for lunch. We've, we've literally not been in our house. So I'm actually quite looking forward to having these for dinner. Here's the bowl. My garlic bread's just about browned off. Um, so you can definitely turn the oven off darling, thank you. <laughs> now this is tonight's dinner, large vino. I always prop my vino in the cart like here, look. I'll just prop it between there and I'm going to literally dive into this coziness with the big fleece. Got my vino there, sorted. Going to put this on my lap. So I've got a big bowl of garlic bread in one of my favourite dishes I've ever, like literally, this is my favourite bowl, the polka dot bowl, I love it. Got my noodles in the Love Heart Bowl and Love Island. It's like a Love Island kind of like review programme. If you, 
<laughs> At least after we're trying to get a thumbnail there for the video. The vlog. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway guys, I'm going to go and sit and enjoy my dinner. Um, Lou is in the giggles tonight and yeah, we're going to watch the Love Island programme and I'm just going to switch off. <laughs> Everything okay, Lou? <laughs> Lou was like, we're just watching the Love Island programme and we've had our food. It's like half past 11. Lou was like, I've had enough, I've had enough. I'm going to bed. Switch the fairy lights off. Switch the, the, basically you just switched all the lights off and you've had enough, haven't you, Lou? All right, there. Fine. <laughs> So basically, Lou's decided we're going to bed. So I am going to take my glass of wine. I'm going to top it up a little bit. It is quarter to 11, something like that. Um, I'm going to switch all the lights off. I'm going to get into bed. I'm going to get some Skittles. Lou, please get some Skittles out the cupboard for me, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, he's doing it. Get some Skittles out the cupboard. Get a glass of wine. We're going to watch the rest of the Love Island programme in bed. And I'm going to get an early night. <coughs> we're going to bed basically before midnight. Um, and we're going to get to sleep. So guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're a newbie around here. I kind of don't know if anyone ever new finds um, my channel from vlogs. But if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. I'm going to try and, as I said in my last video, I'm going to try and do as many vlogs as I can on my channel. Oh, thanks, Lou. We bought the loads of these little packets of like um, Halloween sweets to kind of stop ourselves eating like big... Run, go. <laughs> Run. Da -na -na -na. Dun -dun -dun. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. Right, you better, um, Lou, go and get the TV set up. Basically, what I'm saying is, <laughs> basically, what I'm saying is, Lou, stop! I'm not speaking to you. Basically, what I'm saying is, we've been buying these Halloween sweets um, to stop ourselves eating like big bags, but then I still end up eating about three bags of these, so it kind of like counteracts the fact of buying the small bags. But anyway. I'm going to end the vlog here guys, um, I'm really enjoying doing loads of little vlogs at the moment and I really hope you guys are all enjoying them. I find them fun to film and not so much pressure at the moment because um, I don't have as much time as I used to for sit down videos and things like that but um, there's a lot of fun videos coming up. Um, but yeah, um, thank you so so much for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all soon.